Alvaro Obregón and Gabriel Mancera Avenues in Mexico City was withheld for over six days, even though signs of life were detected as late as September 25. It is presumed that about 40 people may still be trapped. Demands from family members and rescue groups, directed at all levels of government, are increasing while critical time is running short. Familias and Alvaro Bregan 286 Estan Desesperadas, Denuncian Graves Irregularidades y Falta de Información. Seismo, https coidio 6 ca 3 cg Roman Borrego at Roman Borrego 26 de September de 2017 Families in Alvaro Bregan 286 are desperate, report serious irregularities and lack of information. Seismo Earthquake, https coidio 6 ca 3 cg La Falta de Información en Alvaro Bregan 286 es inhumano, love only at Mazina. RBDYLS 26 de September de 2017 The lack of information from Alvaro Bregan 286 is inhumane. Hayes DSA Atraviere en Apadiros a los familiares que no tuvieron contacto con medios de comunicación y redes sociales, Eliza at Tanit 26 de September de 2017 A few days ago they had the gall to ask family members not to have contact with news media and social networks. Facing grim realities such as these, the online community is reminding others to stay alert, not just in Mexico City, but in other earthquake-affected parts of the country. They urge others not to forget about equally important areas with less media coverage, like Santa Rosa Zachiac, Iztapalapa, Loac, Xochimilco, and camps of indigenous populations in settlements around the Roma and Juarez neighborhoods. Social media users are urging affected residents, neighbors, and civilians to report irregularities and insist that institutions comply with minimum security and transparency protocols. They are demanding that the public be informed about issues in an honest and time-sensitive manner, that international protocols regarding the use of heavy machinery are being upheld, that there are no undue arrests or obstructions to rescue work, that construction companies are held legally responsible for damaged buildings, that all civil protection regulations for reconstruction be complied with, and that aid can and will arrive to affected areas. Repito a un falta mucha ayuda, pero luego habra que pedir cuentas sobre cuantas mujeres trabajaban en chamal papaca y en que acute condiciones. Tanya Tagle at Tanya. Tagle 22 de September de 2017 I repeat there is still a lot of help needed, but we have to ask about the number of women who worked in chamal papaca and under what conditions. Soy de Morelos y nadie me lo canto yo lo vi, estampien densas las cosas y de salimos ayudar con miedo que nos detengan con la ayuda, Montserrat at Mons underscore 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 25 de September de 2017 I am from Morelos and no one told me, I saw it for myself, things are really intense and we all head out to help, fearful that they will stop us from helping. Toda edificación colapsada no de basar demolida antes de que un paritaje permita deslindar causas y responsabilidades. Pouting no a la impunidad pouting, René Coulomb at René Coulomb 23 de September de 2017 Any collapsed building should not be demolished before an expert's report can identify causes and responsibilities. Pouting no to impunity pouting now that talks of rebuilding have started, the public wants to closely monitor the use of all resources directed towards reconstruction. Empresarios de la CDM ex exigen abrir a la sociedad el manejo del dinero para la reconstrucción https ocpictwittercom 7 cmvcg 5 ud sin embargo mx at sin embargo October 3, 2017 Businessmen from Mexico City demand public transparency in the handling of the reconstruction money. Ahora viene la pruela de fuego. Ya paso la hora de los ceros ocasionales. Lo que ahora se requiere es mantener el espíritu cívico de los imprescindibles. Reconstrucciones en corrupción, Claudio X. Gonzalez at Claudio G. October 2, 2017 The moment of truth has come. The time of transitory heroes has passed. What we need now is to keep up the civic spirit. Reconstrucciones en corrupción, reconstruction without corruption.